Well, I wanted to show you guys here uh, the proper cuts to do when you're gonna cape out for a full mount. It was pouring down rain, so I wasn't gonna show you, but the rain just quit. I already have the cuts made, but I'll show you what I did. So I start at the front legs and I just pull it straight like this. You make a straight line, kind of down that hairline, all the way from up here, straight down to this knuckle, down across and through the back of the armpit to right there. Same thing on this side. From right there, make a straight line to that point. When you pull the leg straight like this, kind of down the hairline, around and right there. And then I make a little key you can see right here for the taxidermist. So this line comes straight through that way when they're sewing it back all up. It doesn't get off to one side or the other. Then you go straight down the back, or straight down the belly, and right around one side of the genitals, one side of the other. Then on the back legs, pretty much the same thing. I get it held straight like this, start right here, go right to that joint. You can see on this deer, he had some thick hair and some thin hair. That's a good place to hide the stitch. Go right down there, right underneath the butthole, and same thing on this side. Right down, right there, and then I also made just a tiny little key right there. Those are the only cuts that I make when we full mount, full cape the deer, and we'll just start peeling everything back. Peeling these four corners away, you peel these back, cut the bones off, take the joint off right there, and then I tube out this whole front, and because every taxidermist is a little bit more particular on how they cut that out, but that's the way we do it. Just wanted to show you a quick how-to. This, uh, the reason we're full cape in this deer is it's one of the prettiest whitetails I've ever seen, and I have some taxidermist friends that are gonna appreciate this. You see the, he's got white marks on all four legs, and then he's got this real interesting marking right there on his front chest. Good shot, buddy.